ligger der en hundfisk der. Den er simpelthen sprunget op i båden. Det er for dejligt. Great times in Germany. We've had it all. We've had big waves, small waves, ocean, the canals, the big ships, bath and good weather. Uh, it's been fantastic. And we've met really, really nice people in Germany. Had great nice places to stay the night and uh, beautiful sunsets. Coming into the Kila Canal we had a lot of races to look at and that was great fun for the kids and us. And coming into the first lock gate at the Kila Canal was an experience in itself. We went through a red light and had to turn around and weren't sure to, that we were allowed to get in. But we came in and that was great as we had to go a long way around. On the way up through the Kila Canal on the first day we had the wind against us and had to cross our way through. And that went well for about 16 kilometers. but then uh, people start yelling at us from the ships and uh, we had a ferry that um, told us to get into the side because the police were coming as you can see in the background. And they had a chat to us um, but they are very friendly, we paid a 10 euro fine and they uh, showed us this place to stay the night. We also changed the way of traveling, all four on one kayak and pulling the other one after us. <laughs> Grandmother also came with us for a couple of days and that was great. It was an extra motor for Susie now that we couldn't sail with sail anymore. One day we tried to hitchhike into town, didn't succeed, but we came in anyway and um, saw the Forest Museum in Bork. This was the end of 100 kilometers of the Kila Canal. Coming into the last lock gate didn't went that well as you see here. We made it 84 kilometers without cell, just using our legs and having an average of 5 kilometers an hour was pretty, pretty good. And uh, yeah, it was time to try something else. And we can, we can only stay still. We can only stay still. We came out to the Vatican Sea, and when we tried to go against the current. It was so strong, we were just standing still. Here we were picked up by Chris and Anche in Cruxhaven. They took us to their house where we st stayed for three days. Had a great time, the kids were playing, Chris were making games with them in the shed. And Anche had a beautiful garden, which the kids were just enjoying and us too. Cozy nights around the fire had come to an end. It was time to say goodbye to Chris and Angie and continue our trip through Germany. Here we say goodbye in Odendorf, 
and uh, they're sailing away and we're sailing into the canals once again. Another experience was the help yourself lock gates on the way. Grandmom and granddad from Holland came to pick up the kids and bring them to Holland for a week's holiday and we continued on our own. We timed the low tide 15 minutes wrong and got stuck in the middle. Okay, så er vi, øh, vi er på vej over øh, her midt om natten. Øh, har det lidt koldt. Det er lidt overrasket igen. Øh, det er lidt overrasket af, af, hvad hedder det, af vandet lige pludselig. Så var det der bare. Thanks to Chris and Angie, we took this trip out to the Vatican Sea. It wasn't a part of our plan, but they uh, ensured us that it was safe and easy way to go. So we we took the chance and went and had a great time. And after our longest day so far, 68 kilometers and 12 hours on the water, we having cake on the beach. With speeds up to 20 kilometers an hour, only sailing with half sail, we had the wind, the current and the waves with us and we were just flying over the last piece of the Vatican Sea. Great experience and also showed us that we can do more than we expected and prepared us for the trip ahead. Danke.